Here we have the SAUTV bumper guard for a Can-Am Maverick X3. Mine's a 2022. And it's just those four point mounts, same as the one you took off. Two bolts on top, two bolts on bottom. The top ones are kind of hard to get to. You have to use a wrench on the back side. The bottom ones, uh, you don't need a wrench on the back side. So the reason I'm making this video is I wanted to put a winch on and the company said they don't recommend a winch and they don't make tooling for it. So here's the winch I got. It's rug cell, heavy duty 2000 pound winch. So that comes with that plate that you see it mounted to. And what I did, as you can see, the bracket behind there is I installed the bumper and then that plate you have to mount the winch to the plate first and then you can slide the whole thing in there and if you drill a couple holes in the bottom uh, you can't see them because the skid plates on but if you drill those two holes all the way through then you can run these bolts in and that keeps the back end from tipping up when you're winching. And then for the front, these two holes down here, um, I had to drill through for those. And those line right up with the tabs. There's some vertical tabs on the bracket that come up and you can see that's where the bolts come through on there. So it's a pretty heavy plate that comes with the winch. Then you have to put like a, you can see the chrome steel supports that I put in there. Um, those have to come up and what they do is two things. One, they kind of, well really they only do one thing is they hold in this piece here that contains the uh, rope I don't know what you call them pulley guides let's call it that rope guides so if you want to get that to the right height you have to do that um, what I did do is flip around so that the rope came over the top so when you hook up your wiring you're gonna have to reverse the wiring from normal because normally the rope on this comes from the bottom and that's too low. That'll sit down too far. So if you loop it back around, run it over the top, it lines up pretty perfectly here. So these didn't require any drilling. There's a space cut out that worked, um, but I had to drill these. So I had to drill four holes and you have to get them aligned with this, you have to get them aligned with this plate where the tabs come out. Um, actually, I put the front in and tightened it up, and then I just went underneath and drilled holes that lined up pretty much with this, and then put these in. You could crank it down further so it actually touches here, but I'm probably about two millimeters from that. The bolts I used, um, that's, that's as far as they'll go down. But that's fine, because this plate's so thick it's not going down. If anything, it's going to go up when you start winching. So I think it looks pretty good. It's tucked back in there, pretty safe. Um, so nothing, it's not gonna catch on anything. Um, and at the same time, I think it's definitely strong enough to do the job. It fits in there. It's kind of a, you have to twist it around to get the winch with the plate mounted. So again, you drill four holes, leave the skid plate off, uh, kind of or twist the thing in there until you get it right. Mount these two front bolts, drill the underneath ones to line up, and then put these two bolts in um, for the guide. And that's really about it. And it's pretty cool. So again, SA UTV bumper does not recommend the winch. Um, probably because their plate 
is not super thick, um, but it's thick enough. I mean, you'd have to be doing some pretty heavy duty stuff over a period of time, I think, to, to ruin that. I mean, maybe the, this thing might bow out a little if you had a lot of weight, um, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Um, especially with the two brackets in back because that gives it some reinforcement from behind. Yep, so four drilled holes in those brackets. And everything else is kind of bolt on at that point. Hey, good luck.